What is up guys, it's Aaron from Rudy Visuals and in today's video we are going to teach you how you can tell stories in your photography and filmmaking. So for me the best advice I was ever given was not to take a picture but to actually make a picture so this is often the difference between a photo a snapshot simply pointing your camera at something uh, and taking a picture compared to actually making a photo this is when you plan prepare and put a little bit more thought into crafting a picture this is something that we often do in portrait photography we plan outfits we plan moods and styles all these little small things that go into elevating a photo that you take into a photo that you create but for me something even more important than all of that is simply to add some kind of story or narrative now that story can be something really complex and meaningful or it can be something really really simple Essentially our goal is to have a photo that makes a viewer uh, have some kind of emotional response so that it makes someone who is viewing your photo stop and think beyond the image itself. Now if you think about your Instagram feed, you probably see hundreds of technically amazing photos that you kind of just scroll right through. You might think, oh this is a good photo, but you don't really think anything more than that. But then you get those photos from time to time, the way you actually stop and you look at the photo, you analyze, you question. And more often than not, the reason why I'm stopping and I'm thinking more is because that photo tells some kind of story. So I'm going to show you a few simple ways that you can do this so that hopefully next time you go to shoot, you'll start thinking in a more creative way rather than just pointing and shooting. Now do keep in mind, if you're more into shooting video and you're not really into photography, this is all still transferable knowledge that can still be applied to filming video too. So again, this is the difference between someone just shooting, say like a generic boring vlog of their travels, the same thing you've seen over and over again, compared to something that's planned, something that's crafted, something cinematic and meaningful, and that provokes that emotional response from the viewer. So I'm gonna demonstrate some simple ways that we can do this right now. So we're here in Konyakov, Poland, which is Vera's hometown in this beautiful, amazing snow right now. And my model today is, is Veronica. And we found a really nice spot over here uh, where we'll demonstrate these photos. Okay, so first shot, we're just gonna literally just point the camera, not really think about anything. Uh, camera is set to like auto-ish settings. Just gonna take a photo and see what we get. So here are the photos, they're not too bad, right? They're definitely good enough to like just post on Instagram uh, or Facebook or for social media. They're not really memorable in any sort of way. So what can we do to add some kind of story or narrative to make this more memorable? So the first thing we're gonna try is we're gonna add a bunch of candles and we have a few props. We have uh, a book uh, and a longer candle to try and make this image look kind of like a fairy tale kind of vibe. Uh, so let's see how that turns out. Okay, so what we're doing is we're just lighting some candles on the floor uh, and Veronica also has like a book. It kind of looks like a spell book. Uh, so that kind of adds some kind of mystery. And she's also got a cape and a hood. So that just extra thing adds again some mystery to the picture. Okay, so we're gonna try to add a little bit of a horror element now. We're gonna add, um, we have a torch with us uh, and we have a really cool looking old gun. So let's see how those turn out. Can you like shake your, uh, the gun? Imagine you're scared. Like. So for the last shot, we are, uh, we came out of the woods uh, because there were some weird black things in the distance. We think they were boar, but just in case they were bears, <laughs> we came out here. Anyway, we have this really cool scenery over here, but I think I'm going to make use of the sky over here. And we're going to try and create a more like adventure uh, epic view with this one. So let's see what we can do here.
All right guys, so it's getting really cold now and we are losing a lot of light. So we're gonna go inside and then we'll talk about these photos a little bit more. All right, let's see you there. Okay, so we are now inside back in the warm. And as you can see, we took four very different styles of photos, but all in pretty much the same location. We didn't change camera or lenses. We were just using our 60 Mark II with our Nifty 50. No fancy techniques or anything like that. We simply changed the posing a little bit, the perspective and the expression on Vera's face and added a few props as well. All these really small things can help completely change the story and narrative of your images. So if you look at the first set of photos that we took, this was when I just took a snapshot. They're perfectly fine. They look pretty nice, I think, and they are nice and sharp. But beyond that, they don't really do anything in terms of telling a story or a narrative. So for me, they are kind of forgettable. The next set of photos that we took, uh, I was trying to go for sort of like enchanted, magical fairy tale sort of vibe. And the candles and the kind of spell book definitely helped to add that element of like kind of magic going on. Uh, we also had the candles around Vera, which also has this sort of kind of cool, mysterious vibe to it, I guess. And the fact that she's low down and close to the ground, and I also put myself down close to the ground, gives it kind of like an intimate sort of feel to it. As you can see from these next set of photos, a completely different tone. We went for a sort of much darker horror kind of story here. We have this really, really cool old torch and a fancy old kind of gun. So it kind of has this feeling like she's lost in the woods and like something is hunting her. You see the expression on her face in both the images as well. And in this second image, we took away the gun and this sort of hand here just kind of adds a bit of like vulnerability. So really small things like where the hands are placed can really change like the mood and tone of a photo. Okay, and in the last set of photos, I am actually looking up at Veronica. So if you have the camera pointing up at someone, it kind of creates this illusion of them being bigger than they actually are. Uh, we have this really cool epic sky, again, the gun and the way that she's standing it gives off a more confident kind of feel to it. So I was kind of going for like an adventure Western epic kind of look, which I think this does quite well. So again, just to reiterate this point, here is a portrait that we took a while ago. It's again, a perfectly nice shot, but beyond it looking good and being sharp and all that kind of stuff, it's not really memorable. Now compare it to this shot, uh, it has a little bit more narrative behind it because she's holding this flower. She's dressed very eloquently uh, on top of this mountain hill. It kind of makes you think, what's she doing there? What is the symbol of this flower? Is it like some kind of like funeral or some kind of, we don't know basically, but it makes you question that, which this shot here, you're not really thinking about any questions really. So, so that's a really subtle but simple way to show you the difference between a photo that we, we took compared to a photo that we made. Here are two more shots from the same photo shoot. Uh, this one again is just of her face. Again, it looks great. I think it's a nice shot, but it doesn't really do much beyond looking good compared to this shot where she's got the sand going through her hands and that's already way more emotional and evokes more of a response from me looking at the photo compared to the other one. Because you're thinking, what is she doing there? Uh, what is the meaning behind the sand going through her hands? So if you see both these photos on your Instagram feed, for example, I think you're much more likely to stop and look at this photo compared to this one. So in terms of how you can do this in video, it's pretty much the same concept. You can add really small things that make a big difference in terms of helping to add a little bit of narrative or story. And this in turn helps your videos become more memorable and more meaningful. Like simply just having a person in your shot and having them like interacting and doing something within their environment, showing their like emotions, how they're feeling, trying to evoke senses like touch and taste. All these things elevate your boring shots into something more engaging for a viewer. Like even if it's just simply having someone looking in amazement at the view around them, that already tells more of a story than if there wasn't a person in the shot. So I'm gonna use these clips uh, that I took like over a year ago. Uh, this was in Ninh Binh in Vietnam. Uh, we were at this really cool like temple place and I caught a glimpse of this guy praying at this, this shrine temple place. Uh, he looked really deep in thought and like he was like really obviously really into it. And now filming that has much more of a, like an emotional response than if I was just to shoot like just the temple itself. And that already makes you ask questions like why is he there? How is he feeling? You already get more of an emotional response from that shot than say this shot which is just like just the landscape with nothing in it. 
In this video, we were in front of the Petronas Towers in Kuala Lumpur. And rather than just shooting the towers, which, which is what most people would do, I wanted to try and get shots of Veronica actually interacting with people around her and actually taking photos of the actual place itself. Putting her in front of the tower also gives a scale of the size. So all these little things, again, make a big difference in terms of telling some kind of narrative. So the main takeaway from this video is that by putting in a little bit more thought into what you're shooting, you can elevate boring shots into something that's more memorable just by adding a little bit of story I and mean, that can be through props facial expressions body language mood perspective etc for us personally the photographers and filmmakers who we admire and aspire to be like always nail this down and that for me is what separates them from everyone else so instead of thinking i need a better camera or a lens or i need to learn to edit better or get some like fancy transition packs in my opinion you can seriously improve your visual work just by adding a little bit of story and narrative so this is the key difference for me between taking a photo or video and crafting and creating one. So think about that next time you're out with your camera. So anyway guys, hopefully you found that useful. If you have any questions at all, do feel free to leave them in the comment section below and we'll try to get back to you as soon as we can. If you wanna see more of our work, follow us on Instagram and Facebook. And if you like this video, help us out, give it a like, hit that subscribe button. And other than that, it's time to end the video because I'm starving, gonna eat some lunch now. So thanks very much guys. See you in the next one, bye.